Hello, my name is Aidan McLaughlin and I'm the Deputy Head of St Helens College. As a teacher, a new dad and an uncle to three nephews under four years old, I've seen firsthand the importance of positive behaviour management. Here are my five top tips. Number one, show don't tell. If your child hears don't do this or don't do that without an explanation, they'll only be left confused. What we can do to help the child is to provide them with an explanation of what we would like to see, or even better, role model and demonstrate the type of behaviour we would like. This way your child is much more likely to follow your example. Number two, offer choices. Giving young children choices helps them to feel more in control of their emotions. It also helps to take the pressure off them when they are feeling emotional. It could be something as simple as, would you like an apple or an orange? Or it could be something like, would you like to apologise to your friend or shall we take a quick break? Number three, reward good behaviour. This is a really good way to reinforce what you would like to see, but it should not be confused with bribery. All behaviour seeks a sense of belonging and significance, and over time, your child will build habits from realising that positive praise comes from good actions. Number four, be clear about boundaries and expectations. For example, you can play after you've finished your homework, or we need to leave in 10 minutes' time. It is helpful to tell the children how you would like them to behave and what you would like to see. After all, we cannot expect the children to follow the rules if they don't know what they are. Number five, taking a break. This is allowing a child an opportunity to take maybe just a minute or two to calm down and to reflect on what has happened. This way they are much more likely to be able to speak to an adult and to find a solution. Sometimes as an adult, we feel that we need to be seen to be doing something, but actually that's not always the most helpful thing for the child. So, they were my top five tips. Following them should help to provide long-term results rather than short-term fixes. And remember, there are not bad children, just bad behaviour. And as the adults, it is our job to support them in a kind, consistent and positive way. I hope you found them helpful and thank you for listening. <laughs>